Oh boy, send help. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely and it is time to decorate inside my house. So this is my first of several decorating videos inside for Christmas. If you haven't already seen, I have decorated my porch already, but today we're decorating these halls, okay? From the windows to the walls, I'm about to deck these halls. If you don't get what that's from, then you're probably too young to be watching my channel, but welcome anyway. I'm gonna make a lot of jokes you don't get. We're decorating my living room today for Christmas and I am so freaking excited. I'm so excited that I put on red lipstick and some more Christmas earrings. Can you have too many Christmas earrings? I don't think so. The limit does not exist, okay? I'm going to be decorating my tree. We got a new one this year and she is beautiful, okay? And I love her. And then we also are gonna be decorating my mantle. We're gonna be decorating the coffee table. In today's video, you can also expect gift ideas. Throughout my entire Christmas series, during the Christmas season this year, I'm gonna be sharing gift ideas in each one of my videos to help you, and also it helps me, because I'm the one who has to look for the gift ideas and I also need gift ideas, but Today we're gonna to be talking about gift ideas for little girls. I have two little girls and they need gifts for Christmas, obviously. Actually, they really don't. They have a lot of stuff, but they're gonna end up getting a bunch anyway, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother topic. If you guys don't know me, I am festive AF. I love Christmas. I love every holiday. I like to bring you guys holiday ideas on a budget and also show you guys how a normal, realistic person decorates for Christmas. I have a normal house. I have normal decorations. And and I am not normal. I'm a little weird, but you know what I mean. So let's hop right into it because we're gonna start by putting up the tree and I am still not over how beautiful she is. We got a new tree this year. Let's put it up. My new tree came with these gloves. Y'all look at them, how convenient. This is something I didn't even know existed and I didn't even know I needed. Anyway, I'm super excited about my new tree this year. It's the eight foot king flock tree from King of Christmas. And I would have never thought that I would own such a bougie Christmas tree. Look at me. It's definitely a huge step up from my two foot high Charlie Brown tree I had for my first Christmas as a mom. So easy. <laughs> oh, it's doing something. Okay, time to pluck. It was so simple to put up. It's the perfect height for my house. Now there's no more using bricks as a riser for my Christmas tree to make it the right height. Like look at me, coming up in the world. Anyway, I linked it down below, so please check it out. The LED lights are beautiful. As you can see, I was very impressed with those. I just love King of Christmas. Their products are great quality. The company's amazing. And so if you're looking, you won't regret investing in any of their products. My darling. Beautiful. I made scar yesterday. Pizza girl. I promise I 
have tons of gift ideas for you guys today. I want to share them all with you. So I made a list, an Amazon list, just for you guys to go check out. So that's gonna be linked down in the description box below. It's got tons of gift ideas for girls and tweens on it. Most of them are something that we have or we've gotten in the past or I know are amazing and I want to get for the girls this year. So if you're looking for gift ideas for a girl, I got you covered. Also, I have a gift idea here in the house that I'm going to share with you guys up close so you can really see it. And we've been using it and playing with it and it's amazing. I cannot believe a company this cool and amazing reached out to me. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Our Generation. They are 18 inch dolls and they come with so many accessories, literally anything that you could want or anything that your child is into they have an accessory kit for it and we have had our generation dolls for years i actually had 18 inch dolls like this when i was a kid and i love them and so i'm super excited to be partnering with this company because i feel like it is the perfect gift for any little girl so let's take a look at what they sent to us and hopefully you guys will check them out because even me as a mom wants to play with it and i literally sat there for hours like setting up all this stuff with my girls and it was such a nice moment and I actually had a whole lot of fun because I just felt like such a kid again playing with all this stuff and it's so cute So here's an up close of the our generation pizzeria I have to show it to you guys because it is so cute. I would have died for this when I was a kid It's adorable. The girls have been absolutely loving it. It's kept them so busy and They just can't get enough of this whole setup like in the easy cheesy our generation pizzeria There is a little oven and look Oh my God, it makes noise. Okay, that's adorable. And look at the little fire in there. <laughs> so it comes with a lot of stuff. There's so many pieces. It's actually really easy to set up. Everything was pretty much put together. You didn't have to assemble any of this. So I love that, especially if you're doing it as a Christmas gift that makes Christmas morning so simple. Like, please look at this. It's so cute. It's the heart pepperonis for me y'all so this is an adorable gift i'm gonna make sure to link everything down below i'm going to show you some of the other things that they sent just to give you guys some ideas for some other really great christmas gifts what do you think about this i love it and i play with it every day do you think other little girls would like to get this for christmas yeah yeah. Callie is five and she's been absolutely loving this and Cadence is nine and she's been absolutely loving it. So it's definitely a wide range of ages that are perfect for this. I cannot recommend it enough. And a huge thank you to our generation for sponsoring today's video. This is the in the kitchen set. It has little tiny, oh my gosh, look at these, little tiny cinnamon buns. There's a microwave that makes noise. I'm dead. So I gotta mention this Our Generation doll. She is Stella and she comes packaged in this beautiful box and she's the perfect way to start any collection that you wanna start. So Stella comes with 15 accessories and if you're buying for a little girl who doesn't have any OG dolls yet, then this is the perfect way to start her out. They also sent us this surprise calendar. This is an advent calendar. This is perfect for any little girl who has any of these dolls because there is a surprise for their doll every single day of December so you know I love my advent calendars huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and sending us all of this beautiful stuff the girls absolutely love it do make sure to check out the links I have down below. I have linked all the products that are from our generation as well as my Amazon gift lists for little girls and tweens. You cannot go wrong with anything on the list and you can definitely not go wrong with any of the our generation stuff because it is all amazing. In our next video, we'll be talking gifts for women, for moms, for aunts, for mother-in-laws, and I have tons of gift ideas for them too. So stay tuned. So as you can see, the flock tree makes a little bit of a mess when she goes up. That's okay though, we're gonna vacuum after. I figure we'll just get her all decorated because as we're decorating, obviously she's gonna be, you know, losing some of her fluff, but she's all fluffed out and ready to go. And the lights are adorable, love it. But we got some new ornaments this year, so I'm gonna show those to you guys and some of our old ornaments too. So you can see kind of what we're about to do. Okay, so this is the new stuff that I got this year. I just picked it up at Hobby Lobby. I used some of our tree decorations for the front door, which if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But I used some of it for that. So I had to grab a couple new things. And also, our tree is a little bit bigger this year. This new tree is a couple feet taller, so I wanted to grab some more stuff to fill it in. So I got these um, glass ornaments. They're just white. Then I got these. They're like white and... 
Are they sparkly? No, they're not sparkly. Then I got these red ornaments. These were all half off at Hobby Lobby. So red and white ones that are sparkly. A couple more picks and then some ribbon. I'm gonna put ribbon on the tree this year. I've never done that before. So we can learn together. And then as always, these are a ton of stuff that we have from our tree from last year. We've got our feather boas. I want the tree to look really white and snowy with like just some pops of red. So I have a lot of white snowy looking things. And then we do have a couple little ornaments that go like our winking out ornament. <laughs> that is an Aldi ornament. If you guys are familiar with Aldi, you know they sell winking out wine. Um, here's our Mr. and Mrs. ornament from our wedding. Let's see, we've got our Starbucks ornaments go on this tree. I get one of those every year. Got this cute little white house ornament. Just random things I picked up that go along with the theme. I've had the same sort of vibe of um, ornaments on this tree for a while, just because I really like how clean it looks and crisp. And then I've got a couple other theme trees that you guys will see throughout the holiday season. We're gonna start decorating the living room tree, which is gonna be the snowy tree. That's what I call her. An easy tree theme because I can put some ornaments that are sentimental on this tree without it like clashing too much because red and white is traditional Christmas colors. Oh, look at this. Look, there's Callie from last year. Yep, and you made that one last year. Let's get started. So if you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really rainbow. I'm the type of mom who lives vicariously through Hallmark movies, will offer you wine during a play date, and if you haven't noticed, holidays are kind of my jam. I make YouTube videos about motherhood, DIYs, home decor, and what it's like to be me, someone who's slightly domestic and really relatable. I have two daughters who are five and nine and a husband who works in the oil field, which means he's literally never here. You can count on me listening to Christmas music in November, reminding you that it's okay to be a holiday hot mess, and I'm only a Pinterest mom if it can be done in like less than 15 minutes. So if you relate to any of that and you're not subscribed, hopefully you will. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram for more DIYs, behind the scenes of our life, travel, all sorts of stuff. Anyway, let's get to know each other. First question, who's the hardest person on your list to buy for? Mine has definitely gotta be my mom, I think. So when I put decor on my tree, I always start with the garland and then I do the big ornaments and the small ornaments and the picks kind of all together. I know a lot of people do it in a different order, but I think that no matter what you do, it turns out great because I love every Christmas tree I've ever seen. As usual, I have one of my kids starring in my video. She's helping me out putting up decorations on the tree and making sure that this one particular area where she can see and is at her eye level is perfectly decorated. So no worries on that part at least. Okay y'all, we need to chat about what's coming up. If you're not subscribed, here's my chance to convince you to stick around. Of course, we're in the middle of full-blown holiday time until the end of the year, which means you can expect nothing but Clark Griswold vibes for the next few weeks. So that's lots of holiday decor content. That means decorating the front yard with like 10,000 lights, I'm not even exaggerating. Decorating inside my house, all over in every single room. Putting up like seven Christmas trees, and that's just a couple things that you'll have to experience. There's also gonna be Christmas homemaking, party ideas, Christmas crafting, and DIYs, and lots and lots of gift ideas thrown in there wherever I can fit them. So make sure to subscribe. I I promise that I'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna keep it on a budget, and I'm gonna keep y'all laughing through the holiday season. First, you're putting ribbon on a tree. I'm trying to decorate this year like Chip and Joanna might walk through the daggone door at any moment, y'all. In other words, I'm going all out, so I broke out some ribbon. I cut 18 inch sections and just kind of like stuffed it into the tree, going all in like the same direction. 
I used the branches to secure the ends of the ribbon and it looks really good. This ribbon was really inexpensive too from Hobby Lobby and it has, it came with a ton, it was like 15 feet or something. So it was definitely a good buy and it looks so nice. All Christmas decorating always makes me so humble. It just reminds me um, every year that I like put up all this fancy decor and I do everything to look so nice about how lucky I am to have this house and have all this decor. And you know, I, we've worked really hard to have everything that we do, but it's just nice. You know, my parents always did Christmas really big when I was a kid and I always appreciated that. So that's probably where my love of Christmas comes from. But I never imagined I would have a house like this or decor like this or a tree like this or anything. So every time I put it up, I just get so humbled and I'm just, I just always feel so thankful, you know, like Christmas really just brings out like all the emotions in me. I cannot be the only one. Maybe I just watch too many Hallmark Christmas movies, but I just love it. I love decorating for Christmas and I love that every year we get to hang out, me and you. So Thanks for being here. The top of the tree, I decided to use the same red ribbon and make a big old bow. This is the absolute easiest way to make a bow. If I can do it, you can do it. All you do is cut 18 inch sections, fold them each into like a loop, and then gather them all in your hand like you're holding a bouquet and secure with a zip tie. Y'all know I love me some zip ties. I use these babies for everything. I ended up making two bows, each in this size, and attaching them both to the top of the tree, and then I took some longer ribbon and twisted it so it would curl, and then let it come down from the top of the tree, kind of cascading, so magical, and it looks really good. that I use a lot of the same decor year to year, so sometimes I can't find it. And I use a lot of hand-me-down stuff from my mom, so don't hesitate to ask if you don't know where something is from. I even shop yard sales for Christmas decor, so I can't always link everything, but I will do my best, and I will also try to link something similar if I don't have a link. And I love talking to you guys and answering questions and, and just getting to know y'all, so please comment down below. with putting up the same garland as last year and I would just I just wasn't feeling it y'all I really wasn't I did go ahead and dress it all up with my picks and the wooden bead garland and the tree garland but I decided to change it up a bit this year and ended up switching it out for this flocked garland I combined that with another garland we had and it ended up looking so much better if you ever have a garland that you like and it doesn't like look very good by itself like it looks a little sad and like it's missing some stuff then pick up one of the cheap garlands from Walmart and just wrap them together it can really take it up a few notches add some lights add some picks and suddenly you have this bougie garland that everyone's like that's so beautiful and all you did was pay like 10 bucks for it
have our Target stockings. We've had these for years, and instead of hanging them on the mantle, I always put them down the side. I think it looks cute, and it doesn't cover up my cute little mantle decor. I love the tree garland. It's one of my favorites, so I don't like to cover it up with the stockings, but stockings are a definite necessary thing, so I, I just hang them along the side. If you're balling on a budget like me and don't want to spend a ton on holiday pillows, the answer I have for you is simple. Buy pillow covers from Amazon. For about $12, you can transform any pillows you have in the house, no matter what they look like, into holiday pillows, and you save a ton of money and a ton of space. This is the best invention ever in the world, and I will not stop telling you guys about it every year. Just to remind y'all, of course, I am a real mom in a real house, and probably 75% of the time that I'm decorating for the holidays, I am surrounded by people staring at me and my camera. So my children, my husband, they're always here hanging out while I decorate. So if you ever see me talking, I am hopefully not talking to myself. I mean, sometimes I might, but hopefully not. And you just gotta get it done while they're home. Even if cleaning and decorating your house with your family home is kinda like, you know, eating and brushing your teeth at the exact same time, it's honestly kinda pointless, but, you know, we get it done, okay? And they're here, they're hanging out, it's okay. to make it feel like Christmas in my house is to put out all the Christmas books. I have a ton of holiday books from over the years and I like to put them all out at Christmas time for everyone to look at and I have learned that if they're out here in the living room, they will one, not get lost in the abyss that is my children's rooms and two, they will be more likely to look at them if they're out here. So I like to put them out here and I like to pick from these when I read bedtime stories and stuff and you know, it's just, it's just a little thing I do to make it feel like Christmas. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking up wine by the fire Alright y'all, so I want to thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more Christmas content from me, I have the perfect video for you. So make sure that you click right on up there and don't go anywhere because I would love to have you stick around. Also, if no one's told you today, you're doing a great job. Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Oh, it's such a charm Got you up in my arm There's nobody at the door You said I wish this will never be over Darling, it's time for your present, come over here Now it is time to get out in the snow Lighting a light with you Choirs will sing and the joy bells will ring Nobody loves you as much as I do It's a wonderful feeling from floor to the ceiling It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire here on our own, we got nothing to fear It's Christmas
Christmas and some kind of love, my friends.